the stunning gardens of Milntown are soon to have an exciting addition. We are planting a maze. Every country house should have a maze, and the one at Milntown is being planted on the field beyond the mill pond. The design is based on the shape of the Isle of Man, and already work is well underway. A grid of strings has been laid out, forming squares a metre across. The positions of the paths were then sprayed on in paint, using the plan as the guide. Yellow hatching was added to indicate where the planting would be, and gradually the outline has become clear. The string was removed in preparation for the next stage, the appearance of a turf cutter to lift the grass where the paths will run. The excess turf will then either be stored or used to build some of the many features that the maze will contain. The most famous of all the members of the Christian family to live at Milntown since the 15th century was William Christian, better known as Ilium Doan. He was born here in 1608 and the story of his trial and his execution in 1663 is the stuff of Manx legend. The Milntown Maze will have lots of features connected with Ilium Doan's story. As you walk around, you'll encounter a mini Castle Russian, a model of Tinwald Hill, which is currently being built using the spare turf. The Carogarrow Fort near Andreas and Milntown House itself will all be represented by scale models that children can climb inside. And for good measure, there'll be a model of the Laxey Wheel, which actually turns. The paths have all been carefully excavated by a digger. Meanwhile, some 50 tonnes of hardcore and top dressing has been delivered. The trenches where the paths will run have been laid with a membrane and the hardcore is filling them up in preparation for the final topping. Some 1,500 yew plants are being ordered and they'll be ready to put into the ground over the coming winter. We've ordered plants that are already 80 centimetres high, so the effect of the maze will be seen right from the start. It'll take some time to come to complete maturity, but there'll be plenty to see in the meantime as the project develops. Make sure you check it out when you next visit Milntown Gardens. <laughs>